Hi guys, this is Rob from the Facebook Myocardial Bridge Support Group. Here's another myth about myocardial bridges. This one is sort of a double-sided myth. Um, it's a myth about exertion, okay? The one side of it is that uh, if you're feeling symptoms, this is the myth, just when, you're, just when you're sitting down, just lying down, if you're feeling symptoms, those symptoms can't be from the myocardial bridge because myocardial bridges only show symptoms when you're exerting yourself, right? When you're doing sports or really strenuous activity or stress, something like that. I was told this specifically by a doctor uh, who I quickly left that doctor, went to another doctor. Um, it's patently false. Uh, you can often have symptoms that are worse when you're doing nothing than when you're actually playing sports. Many people actually feel better when exerting themselves and playing sports. Okay, so that, that side of the myth is false. The flip side of the myth is that um, if you are playing sports, if you are exerting yourself, then that's some sort of evidence that you couldn't possibly have a myocardial bridge because people with myocardial bridges aren't able to do those kinds of things. If, if your ser uh, symptoms were serious, you wouldn't be able to do your running and your soccer or whatever else you do. Um, that is completely false. Um, and we could just you know, whip out a laundry list of names and examples of how that's false. I'll give you a few. Um, people who have exerted themselves at a high level with a Mario Cardio bridge. Uh, Bobby Ryan, MLS soccer player. Died of a heart attack a couple of years ago. Cause of heart attack listed in the news, myocardial bridge. Obviously, he exerted himself at a high level. Mario Cipollini, world-class, one of the best sprinter cyclists, like tops in the world. Had to stop cycling a couple of years ago. Myocardial bridge. Um, he had some type of surgery. I don't know where he is on it now. I'll put these stories in the description below. Um, another person, Kyle Watson. He's on our site. He's a professional sponsored runner. Uh, an Ironman triathlete guy, and um, he had a myocardial bridge, didn't know it, had pressure in his chest. After this went by for a couple of races, he had this serious pressure, had to stop, and he went and got it checked out, ended up having unroofing surgery. Okay, so there's three people that are at the, you know, the, the highest levels of sports, whether it's soccer or cycling or uh, long distance racing, who all had myocardial bridges. One died, one had some type of surgery, and not sure where he is, and one had a roofing surgery, clearly they could exert themselves. We also have people who, in our site who were a college, a girl who was a college uh, soccer player, had a roofing surgery. Uh, we have a guy who was in high school, I think he was sophomore, junior, who was a wrestler and cross country runner, very athletic. And is uh, he said, he came on, he gave an explanation on, on the slide, it's fantastic. He said uh, he probably couldn't have continued with these sports had it not been for having unroofing surgery, which allowed him to continue in those sports. So there's real athletic people who um, basically got, were able to get back into their sports through unroofing surgery. Now on the flip side, uh, the first myth that uh, you wouldn't feel anything when you're at rest, right? If you had a myocardial bridge, I give you, uh, this, this, is, this comes up all the time on our site. People often feel better when they're doing sports. Uh, we can theorize about why, it may be something about the blood gets going, more of the body is involved in circulation, helping the heart out or whatever it is. But a lot of people feel, um, very high percentage of people feel better when exerting themselves because they get the whole body circulation going. I was one of those people personally. Um, then of course, there are other people who, like I said, who, who can't walk 10 blocks. Uh, they have real trouble um, exerting themselves at all. But those people also have trouble when they're not exerting themselves too, typically. It's not just exerting themselves, okay? But I give you an anecdote that someone uh, posted on our site a little while ago. He was a cyclist and he was, uh, he said he was out uh, biking for 20 miles along the coastline and um, felt fantastic, came back home, took a shower, sat down, typed some emails, and in the course of typing the emails, he passed out. And that was it. So this is a guy who was able to bike for 20 miles, felt great, passed out, just sitting at the computer or looking at the screen. Okay, so um, that's a very common experience for people to, to have more symptoms and feel worse lying down, just sitting down doing nothing. 
Okay, so it's not true that you have to be exerting yourself to have symptoms at all from a myocardial bridge. And it's also not true that if you are exerting yourself, that that's some sort of indicator that you can't have a myocardial bridge because no one with a myocardial bridge could possibly do those kinds of things because we have literally hundreds of people who are uh, not only on our site, but just celebrities um, from Bobby Ryan to Mario Cipollini to Kyle Watson, people who uh, are professional athletes who have myocardial bridges. Okay, so that's, those are a two-sided myth. Um, we have many more myths uh, in our Frequently Asked Questions document on our site, and I hope to see you there.